Hey everybody, welcome to our show. Welcome to No Chill with Matt and Dylan. Uh, we are pretty new, and as such, we don't have a graphic, so I'm going to need you to use your imagination. I'm going to pop this image up on screen. Oh, oh, how did that get there? Oh, I'm sorry. That was, that's the wrong one. Uh, I want you to imagine, Brendan Meyer, right here. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. I want you to imagine flames coming out, and palm trees, and a big sign that says, no chill with Nat and Dylan. Oh yeah, here I can I can add some like David B bass like boom 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 boom. Well, the thing is, you're you're kind of cutting into my bit here, Dylan, because I was gonna do the the Ooh. chill thing, but that's fine, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, okay, now now open your eyes. I didn't tell you to close them. You're good at taking directions, but anyway, we have a, a very special guest here today. Dylan, do you wanna? Play a clip or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we've got a clip. He uh, specifically asked for a clip beforehand, so we're going to go ahead and introduce uh, our list. Let's just pull this up right here, guys. Bear with us. And uh, here. The phone. Oh, oh. and right now. I didn't have that. I had shot. And your winner! Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we got Brendan Meyer on the show, everybody. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we try to get Adam Collins, but getting champs is busy. Uh, they're hard. They're hard to get. Yeah, I really like Adam Collins. I know. I really wish we could have got Adam Collins, but uh, we, we I guess we, we did get Brendan Meyer, though, everybody. Brendan Meyer on the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's all good because, I mean, that clip, uh, I didn't see it when you put it on, but it plays in my mind pretty frequently. So uh, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I kind of got the gist of it. Hey, uh, you, know, you know this isn't a movie set or anything. You don't, you don't have to have that fake beard on. Right. You can. Is, oh, you can. yeah. This is actually a filter. It's actually a filter. Yeah. It's a filter. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. that's okay. on you. Uh, so here's a question that I've always wanted to ask you. And ever since I've, I've seen you on the snowdown, like, what is what does Nick Cage smell like? Hmm. Uh, you know, I mean, very normal, you know, I think. I think he's a, he smells like a very normal, like most other Nicholases I've met, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys were in a movie recently, right? Uh, Color, Color Out of Space. Is that, is that, is that the title, right? That's the working? It, that's it, man. That's it. Awesome. Don't wear it out. So that's a interesting title. A little bit on the nose for being an almost all white cast. What was your, what was your thoughts on that? Um, hmm. I don't, uh, I don't know. I didn't, didn't feel like, uh, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a phone call right now. Excuse me. Hey man. Oh, um, oh, okay. yeah, I'm, not, I'm not too busy. I'm just interviewing. Ben Meyer. Yeah. You know, the, the, the guy from the sorry, OA. Sorry. It's never um, happened before. Did, did you not see sorry. the OA? Uh, I don't so many of these after shows. I just didn't. Sorry. Don't take uh, a call. It's cool. It's cool. Good. Yeah. He, he was in color. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about that. It, it was with Nicholas. Cage. Were we talking about that? I think you have here. some weird information on Color Space. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, no, no. Here's your call. I'll, no, no, he's, he's the guy from the Fairy, The Oh, you didn't see that either. Oh, well, he's, no, nobody, he's nobody a does. former Snowdown Teams champion. He's, yes, yes, Bibbs. Yeah, I, I, love, I love Bibbs too. Yeah, he's, he's that guy. Bibbs is great. I, I got to go. I, we're in the middle of an interview. Yeah, we're, we're doing. Sorry about that. We're doing. Okay, thanks. It's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. It's fine. I mean, like I said, never happened before on any. It's cool, man. So, so Brendan, I have a question for you. I'm going to throw you a scenario. Let's say the MCU offers you a multi-million dollar deal, multi-movie deal, where you have to play a character who in the comics is a person of color. Would you take that role? I would not. I would not take that role. No. I, I don't know if I believe you. I would believe me, man. I wouldn't take that role. I, I don't think that makes sense uh, at all. You know, that, that feels to me like I, I would hope that I wouldn't even be offered it, you know, but uh, I would certainly turn it down if so. Dylan, you got anything? I'm confused on why Brendan Meyer feels uncomfortable and, and awkward in, in that situation. I think because uh, if the part was written for a person of color, it uh, should go to a person of color. That's how I feel. I don't think that's a hot take. <laughs> So, 
So Brenda no, Meyer. Last track. Oh, last track. Is that what's that? Uh, are we good? Huh? Brenda no, Meyer. Last track. You got, you know, you, you've had a pretty interesting hairstyle look coming in from the Schmodown. I know you started with that fedora early on with your match against Brendan Meyer. And I don't know if that was to maybe hide just that really wonderful style of hair that you got going on. Did you, did you pick that up from watching 2010's Disney shows or, you know, how did you, how did you manage to get there? Zach and Cody, that's what it is. Yeah, Sweet. man. I mean, I think, uh, I think it was just wearing the fedora for a while before the match kind of led to that sort of, uh, that sort of look, man. That's the secret. Does it just naturally just kind of shape it that way or? Yeah. I mean, hey, man. I mean, it's, you know, it's uh, never really heard anyone hate on it before. It's usually been, uh, you know. No, no I, I think 2010's Disney is like, great. So do I. I mean, Sweet I watched life. it in 2010. Yeah, I grew up on that show, too. People love that show. Uh, I don't remember the hairstyle being an issue. <laughs> well, I mean, well, Getting back on on topic, you're you're an actor, Brennan. I mean, I, you, I am. you've acted and stuff. You're the the third best actor in the Quirky Marks after Kevin Smith and Doug Benson. But uh, are you, are you at all worried that you may be typecast as a kind of a creep, just based off your looks? As a creep. Uh, mm -hmm. kind of uh, you know, man. Uh, I feel like a lot of the parts I've played have been sort of, you know lovable um or you know if i played a creep oh. i sort of changed sort of my uh my persona i thought <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just basically going off your looks i haven't seen anything you've, you've been in oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah oh okay all right that's all right yeah man well doesn't seem like you're one to judge then <laughs> I'm, I'm just asking questions uh yeah, yeah. Of course. anyways uh i would say the most successful actors have both talent and looks. Uh, which one do you think you have? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, beauty and talent is in the eye of the beholder, you know? Far be it for me to say what I possess, you know? You just have to ask the people, you know? So you don't think you have either, then? Didn't say that. Didn't say that. Uh, feels like you're putting words in my mouth there, bro. Sure don't. Sure no. Okay. Brendan Meyer, uh, on your hashtag on Twitter, it's at Brandon KJ Meyer. What's the KJ stand for? That'd be my middle name. Oh, I have two middle names, Kirk and James. So Kirk, Brendan, Kirk, Brendan, Kirk, James Meyer is my full name. I, so I, thought, the, I thought the K was like a like a Kelly because you kind of look like a Kelly. Yeah, or like a or like a Jenny, like Kelly Jenny, Kelly Jenny, like a, like a Karen Jenny. Karen, well, uh, Karen yeah. as as fun as this is, uh, I mean, yeah, that's not it's Kurt James. I, I just I wish I could, you know, throw you. A, why would I lie? You know, I guess that's the real question. Why would I lie about my middle names? Yeah, would would not have guessed that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let, let's move on. To yeah, our, let's. I feel like we've got off on the wrong foot on this on this interview. Um, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm having a great time. This is great. This is, you know, <laughs> yeah, no, it's normal. I'm glad somebody is. Other I'm glad somebody is. Um, yeah. Now we got we got another segment, right? Yeah, yeah. This is a totally original segment. It's called this or that. No one's ever done it before. Nope. Uh, I have, you should probably explain the premise if it's you know never been done before. Actually, let's not call it this or that. Let's yeah, call it number I, one. Um, let's call it number one or number two. Okay. okay. Uh, so I only have basically one here. Would you choose Koi, your manager, or the entire country of Canada? Uh, well, I think I'd probably choose Koi because I love, well, by the entire country, do you mean everybody in it? I mean all of Canada. All of Canada. I mean, Canada as an idea is great. Canada as a country, it's great. I don't know if I. Koi is a great guy. There's people in Canada who aren't great. So, so if really there sure. were, if a guy held a gun to Koi's head and said he would shoot him in the head or he would blow up all of Canada, which one would you pick? I mean, I feel like as much as I love Koi, I mean it's hard to answer because I'm literally in Canada right now. So. Mm -hmm. 
makes I mean, the decision quite a bit easier to that's, choose that's, the country of Canada. I mean, that's, that's uh, my kind family of family lives in Canada too, so it feels like. Hmm. I love Koi, kind of, but this, this feels like it would be pretty weird if I chose him, right? That's kind of a good thing to say about your man. I mean, I think Koi's a pretty good guy. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I like Koi. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't just like Koi. I mean, I don't know. But you wouldn't save him. But you wouldn't save him. Uh, over an entire nation? No. I don't think I would. I think it would be pretty weird if Koi expected that i mean i don't blame him it's his life but that hey can you like, someone clip this out and send it to the other managers just to yeah you know. just yeah you know i i think this, a lot of this draft was a little too not enough drama i think we need to really no like I mean, yeah yeah i mean hey you know i mean hey hey dylan you got anything else for, for yeah yeah, yeah, I got a number one or number two for uh, for Brendan. Uh, Brendan, you get uh, two roles that you have you have to pick one. You okay. get uh, Mahersha Ali's role in the sequel to Moonlight, or Jennifer Lawrence's role in the sequel to Joy. Which one do you pick? Again, going back to the other question, this doesn't really feel like parts for me, man. Feels, you know feels like there's a lot of roles I could play. Neither of those really seem to fit in what I can play, should play. So maybe I'll just, I don't know. It just feels like, yeah, I don't understand. I just, I don't know. Maybe we're on different wavelengths. That's all. That's right. Hey. Yeah, maybe. He doesn't. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he gets it. I don't, I don't think he gets it. Oh, we can't win an Oscar with that. <laughs> Well, can't keep awards either, but um, Brendan Meyer, do you got any uh, got any got any plugs? Are you doing anything right now? You know, man. Uh, you know, I'm working on stuff. I'm working. I was we were working on a show up here. I don't know if I can really. I don't know how much I'm supposed to talk about it. I don't know. You know, but yeah, I'm working on stuff. You know, I don't know if I necessarily uh, trust you guys with that information right now. With the way this has been going, I mean, I just I'm not sure. You know what to say. I mean, oh, it's been great. How did I get oh. there? about that? Yeah, it's been great. I mean, it's been fun. I mean, I'm not regretting this decision in any way. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, Colorado Space, as you alluded to, it's available everywhere. Oh, I have Netflix. I mean, I mean, thanks for so much for coming on, Bryn. I mean, I'm really glad you you dressed for the occasion. Yeah, uh, this has been great. And, well, you know, I didn't realize it was the, you know, jackets and you know, collars. I don't know. No one's wearing a tie, but. No. Why would you presume that our show wouldn't be a high class affair, Brandon? Didn't mean it like that. Just wow. you know. Now who's gonna be that guy? It's kind Every of time rude. I've been on a show, they've said dress code in the in the email, in the DM. So, you know, that's all. If you wanted to me to be prepared, could have shot me a DM, but it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Baby face of the year, two years in a row, huh? Two years in a row. Anyway, guys, I think that's our show. Um, make sure to tune in on the next episode. We'll get somebody a little bit more lively to run the Meyer, but I think that's going to be it. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Hey, no, no, no. This is great. Okay. We've had enough of him. Uh, check us out. We, we're probably going to do this occasionally. We're going to do this as often as possible, to be totally honest. We won't lie. This will be. Yeah. I think this went good. Nah, I think it went good. No chill with Matt and Dylan. Check us out. Check us out on Twitch, too. Twitch.tv slash call to action. Bye, everybody. We're bad. Bye, everybody.